Oracle Pisces, it's your girl Sacred 144 Tarot. I am here for a reading for you today, Pisces. Keep in mind that the reading is general and timeless, so just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for the next person. I'm sending you all so much love today. Thank you for the love that you pour out to me in every single way that you do. Thankful in all time, spaces, and dimensions. If you would like to take advantage of some of the deals we have for Cancer season, I do have up to 30% off the entire website with the Cancer 77 code and automatically it will be applied whether you do it or not, Pisces. So if you would like a one-on-one -on -one intuitive healing session, Akashic Records to dive into your past lives and past life regression and healing, or if you would like one-on-one -on -one mentorship, there are a few hundred dollars off right now. So feel free to go check that out in the box below. We are going to get right into it, Pisces. I did update and the website is up. So feel free to go check that out. Let's go home that energy. Kalima. Hey girl. All right. Kalima is coming out in the deck over here. Kalima, spiritual transformation. Love this card. 111. Spiritual transformation. You're definitely going through a spiritual transformation, Pisces. Um, there could be some element of fire involved as well, like some sort of fire alchemy. Definitely a lot of shadow integration here too. Bottom of the deck is Anana. Believe in yourself. So beautiful energy, Pisces. There's definitely a lot of transformation in the collective in general. Um, but Pisces, you could definitely be going through a reawakening. Uh, death and rebirth energy. Kalima is the goddess of death as well. So I feel like a lot of you are going through death and rebirth right now. All right. Let us get right into the reading, Pisces. Put, I'll put her right with Kalima. There you go. You're healing on such a deep level here Pisces for a lot of you it's very deep healing right now but this is also leading up to your spiritual transformation a lot of DNA reprogramming Holy Spirit and Father Light what do we have for the Pisces highest good today and for the highest good of all beings even um so every single time I do a reading here I always pray, you know, for the Pisces highest good, but for the spiritual benefit of all beings. And that's actually um, from Kalima, you know, for the benefit of everyone. So like I have something to do with this reading today too, because that just came to mind. Holy Spirit. This Kalima message. This Kalima message. What is... We have three of cups over here. So you will be celebrating Pisces. For some of you, you're working on your money. You have Knight of Coins, Knight of Coins in reverse, and then the Two of Wands with the Three of Cups. So there is happiness over here. Look, you have Ten of Pentacles under that. But there's a pause in your money. Knight of Coins, Nine of Coins in reverse, three, 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 Two of Wands. This is, is there any way I can do that? I can, yeah, you could see it like that. This is Pisces to release a lot of your fear of money, especially when you're tested like that. It's releasing the fear, releasing the attachment because you are abundant, Pisces. All right, tell me more about the Knight of Coins and the Nine of Coins. Death, there you go. Pisces, a death and rebirth. Also, for some of you, I feel like there's some sort of connection to money, whether it's a person or thing, and that's being collapsed at this time. It's not happening to you. Will it affect your money momentarily? Perhaps, but I feel like there's some sort of connection to money from like, that's like karmic, you know, whether it's a person or a place. Um, and I feel like because that's ending, your money will slow down a little bit. Um, but it's also necessary for your spiritual growth. We have a lot of death energy here, right? Goddess of death. And so you need this, um, a complete rebirth and death when it comes to your money. Why, why the death card for Pisces money, Knight of Swords? Why the death card when it comes to Pisces money here? Why the death card when it comes to Pisces money? 
Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, Eight of Coins over here. I do feel like it has to do with work or like someone you work with, people you work with. So there's another energy here. What's the Page of Swords, Ace of Cups? What's the Knight of Swords? Did not fall face up. What's the Knight of Swords, Nine of Coins? And what's this Five of Swords, Ace of Wands? So Ace, Ace, Nine. And what is this? Page of Swords. What is it? Ten of Cups. This has to do with family, Pisces. Six of Swords. Some of you... Can I have a clarification for the Ten of Cups for this message? King of Swords. Oh, for some of you, this King of Swords really comes out. For some of you, like, you're dealing with a King of Swords that's a family member. You're breaking away from them, which may affect your money momentarily, but what it's really doing. So there's someone who thinks that they can have control over you because of money. And do they? Yes, but it's very karmic. It's like sometimes Pisces, our own family, reincarnates as enemies, as past lovers, as whatever it is. For some of you, you have a family member that feels like they can control you by money. And you're taking back your power. Nine of cups covered the knight of swords. This page of swords over that was the ace of cups. And then five of swords, ace of wands. You're breaking free. And it will take that risk of like momentarily, you will have to reinvent yourself. And that's why Kalima, that's why this is happening for you, Pisces. And for you came out so quickly and easily just now, like butter, 737. This is happening for you because this person thinks that they can control you with money. And this is a family situation. Could be a king of swords. Um, that person keeps coming out for you, Pisces. Um, you need to believe in yourself, all right? And you're going to be creating a safe space over here. Will it affect you? Yeah, you know, but it's it's releasing that fear. For some of you, this could totally be past. And I said that at the beginning. Um, this can be past life energy that you're clearing. And it's funny that I said your money might be connected to a person. They think that they could, five of swords, they can control you because they either give you money, like you rely on them for money, or like they help you in some way, shape, or form. But it's not from the heart. This person doesn't help you from the heart. This person helps you out of control. All right. Um, and it's that energy, Pisces. We have family members. We have um, we have lovers. We have friends. All those different things where it's like, yeah, I'll help you. I'll give you all of this. But that it's a means of to control. It's not from love. And you're going to be breaking free from that. And it's going to take you to believe in yourself, to break free, and reinvent yourself, even money-wise. Which will be a little bit hard at first. Knight of coins, nine of coins in reverse. It might bring you off of balance. But this is to bring you into balance. Tower moments um, only bring you right into balance. All right? Death card. The ending of something over here. So I do feel like if there's some, some just something, right, Pisces? Whatever resonates with you. It's not a personal reading. Um, as far as money, this sever will be tied this this tie will be severed um and cut because this is for your own good tell me more about this king of swords here stay in three cards for the king of swords okay yep knight of wands two of cups five of cups five of wands all right for some of you five five change is definitely coming that's why kali ma is here she's here strong all right she's telling you this is for your good all right, we need to cut this out. This is for your good. You, you are abundant, Pisces. You can make money on your own. You, you are abundant. You're going to find all these different ways and all these different opportunities. 
to whatever money was coming from a person, place, or thing, it will be replaced, Pisces, and that's what you need to know. You're safe during this transformation, but this is for your own good that this tie will be severed and cut, and it will be financially. But to clarify the King of Swords, so we do we did have that Knight of Swords. I mean that Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, Five of Cups. Um, this it feels very karmic. Tell me about Pisces in this energy. Two more cards for Pisces in this energy. What's Pisces? Oh baby. Oh baby, Pisces. Pisces. Nine of Wands, Five of Wands. You've been going through this conflict for a while. And I do feel like for some of you, it's only money that attaches you. And it's scary, right? Like, like if say, um, I'm going to give like just a plain example of like, say like a husband that's like just not a good husband. He's abusive. He has a lot of money. He gives you a lot of money, pays for everything. Like Pisces, do you really want to live a lifetime like that? I just got a confirmation. It says new understanding. My confirmation. Having a different perspective on this. Releasing these karmic ties. Having no fear to do that because you are so protected. You are so provided for Pisces. And it will take that risk. And things will change and they will shift. But understand that everything comes back into balance. You've been dealing with this conflict for a while. It's time for the sun. It's time for joy. We have four of wands on the bottom of the deck. It's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to start over. Here comes the sun. All right. It might be a little bit of rain first, okay? But the sun is coming and it's going to take that work. All right. Yes, baby. Here comes the sun. I help you. That that side? That side is that side doesn't open. Yeah, let me show you. I opened it. You did? Oh, you opened it already? Yeah. Good job. Here comes the sun. <laughs> uh, Ace of Swords, Truth, Pisces. Um, let's clarify the sun. The tower. Queen of Cups. Clarify the sun with the tower. Clarify the sun, the tower, and the four of coins. We have the world over here. All right, so to clarify the sun, we have the tower. We have four coins, two of swords, and the star. I do feel like this will happen suddenly, Pisces. You need to know it's for your highest good. So what's going to come with the sun is this tower moment. I did just talk about the tower. Um, and this card just came out, the Hierophant. There you go. Uh, four coins, two of swords, and the star. The star is hope. The star is faith. And 333, three, three, as I say that, in this tower moment, you will need to have faith for what you don't see. For some of you, you will be saving money or working on your money or whatever that is because you will be cutting this off, which isn't a form of income. I, I do think it's connected to someone. For some people, something. Um, but it's karmic and so it has to go. The tower is only going to shake up what's not for you, what's not your truth, Pisces. What's a faulty foundation? And this might feel like with the Kalima energy, this might feel scary at first. But it's for your highest good and major spiritual changes are unfolding. High Priestess. Alright, major spiritual changes unfolding the wheel. Especially spiritually, Pisces. For those of you who are on a spiritual path and very aware of what's going on, this may happen, but you can't help but understand. What's this five of wands here? Ooh. Okay, Pisces. It will be scary at first. Like, Callie Ma just wants... I feel like she's here so heavy because she wants you to know this might be a little bit scary for you, but it's for your highest good and you are safe. You are safe, Pisces. Even through this. The devil, five of wands and the devil. This conflict, this 
conflict, this tie that you have to money, person or thing, family, friend, lover, this is karmic and it's got to go. It's not personal. It's a part of your spiritual unfolding. It's a part of your clearing. You asked for it. You asked for clearing. You asked to allow in all of the new. But first you need to release what doesn't resonate, the old, what is false. And so there's some sort of connection you have to money. This is what it is. Uh, and I do feel like for some of you, it's like, do you really want to be, con do you really want to be connected to this person or place for money when it's, it's this? And it may even feel like this, you know, the nine of wands conflict. For some of you, there's some sort of conflict here, but the sun is coming, but the sun will only come when you have the tower moment. All right, what's what's advice for the Pisces? Have strength, nine of swords, have strength, okay? For some of you, a lot of in the head about this. You are so safe, you are so protected. You have to be in the star energy for this. And a, a mixture of the practical with the four coins. Have strength. What's coming in for Pisces? Ten of swords. All right, Pisces, so that's how it's gonna feel. That is how it's going to feel. Can we clarify the Ten of Swords? Two of Coins. Everything comes into balance. What's the Ten of Swords with the Two of Coins? Four of Swords. Temperance. So you may need rest. I feel like for some of you, you're tired. That's how this feels. Like you just feel tired. But it will come into balance. I feel like it's Ten of Swords in regards to your money. Okay. You feel in balance when it comes to your money. Please know that this is for your highest good. And that's why Cali Ma is here. Because none of this may necessarily feel good. But it's for your highest good. Alright Pisces. Holy Spirit, the garden, paradise, Akashic record, silent understanding, hidden knowledge. For some of you, there might be a connection between you and this person in the Akashic records. That's what's also coming to mind. Put that here. We're dropping these two decks. Rest and be practical. Yes, this is exactly why it's happening, Pisces. The hungry ghosts, obsession, scarcity, consciousness, attachment. Some of you are really working on your money mindset. Really working on your money mindset over here. Uh, obsessed with, say, money or security. What makes you feel secure? Is it these false programs of secure? This is really... Spiritual transformation, guiding you to feel secure within yourself. You cannot have scarcity consciousness because you are abundant. There's a lot of attachments that we also need to clear. We have the devil card. So that's why this is coming out for you, Pisces. And then let's grab this deck. We'll take all these cards. I have Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel, Patience, and Storm Warning. Financial constraints. This is a very, very clear message here, Pisces. Understand this is Kalima. This is a death and rebirth. This is for your highest good. Because the money connection, the way that this money is coming in, is connected to a person that's not for your highest good. And that's like a karmic partner whatever it is, a karmic attachment, all right? And so you'll be coming into some true money over here and true abundance. Um, but just understand that it will take for you to release what is not true. And you're safe during that process. And that's what Kali Ma says, is you are safe during the process of transformation. She's the goddess of time, goddess of death, goddess of transformation. And you're very safe during that. Freya cycles 
Archangel Michael, trust in heaven. There is a cycle coming through, Pisces. You will definitely be clearing over here. Green Tara, very protected as you do it. Archangel Michael, trusting heaven, you are safe. Angel, stand close, surrender your concerns, and allow a miracle to occur. Allow a miracle to occur, Pisces. Definitely a big energy here of you are safe. All right. That's what I have for you, your Pisces. I hope that this resonates. Um, if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session, Kashik Records, or anything else, please feel free to check out the box below. I'm sending you all so much love, and I hope you have a beautiful day.